guys, this is the all new RGT Pro Runner and this is probably the best cooler that money can buy. This car is fully packed and it is very capable. Stay tuned. <laughs> So guys, in today's video we've got a brand new crawler truck from RGT to look at. And as we all know, RGT makes awesome crawler trucks and they are always packed with a lot of technology inside there. And this one is no different. So this one has got a four-wheel drive, a two-wheel drive, a dig function, a two-speed gearbox, a winch and a lot more. And this is the first crawler car that has something that I would like to have seen in a lot of other cars and brands. But this is really the first one to integrate it into a ready-to-run car. So let me first unpack everything and show you what's inside there. Inside the box you will find the car, the transmitter and some instructions. So it doesn't come with any tools, bits and pieces or something like that, but you know, I don't mind. So you will pay around 350 bucks for this car, I will put the link down below so you can check it out for yourself. But you know, for the money, this is a very very capable car with a lot of technology inside there. So therefore I don't mind that it doesn't come with any tools or spare bits and pieces. So let's have a closer look at the transmitter. This is the transmitter and this is a very good transmitter. So this one is made by Dumbo RC and the quality of these are just superb. So it's very sturdy and very very nice to the hand. So it runs on four uh, triple A's, oh sorry double A's which you need to supply of your own. Or you can plug in a 2S LiPo battery. So we've got 8 channels inside here and yeah it's capable of one end steering so everything feels okay. So we've got a small lid sitting right over there. So here you have your steering trim, your throttle trim, your dual rate etc. And we've got a lot of dip switches for reversing the channels so these two buttons are for the winch controller this one is for the two-wheel drive forward drive and the dig function this one is for the two-speed gearbox and these two are for the lights so overall i really like those transmitters so let's have a closer look at the car and here is the car guys, what do you think of the appearance? Well we all know where they took the inspiration from, but I don't mind, you know they've added a ton of small details already to the car and I really like that. Just look at all the small things, you know, we've got door handles, we've got some mirrors and the mirrors actually fold inwards, so that's really nice. We've got some wipers, we've got all around the car some indicators, we've got headlights, tail lights and a lot more. So in the bummer to the hood you'll find some air scoops and that is very nice detail in my opinion, and just look at the front guys so we've got a very sturdy front bumper with the uh, winch already installed and just look underneath here so this is a metal skid plate already pre-installed that's just amazing and when we look at the rear of the car you can see some very nice detailed tail lights over here and we've got some door handles we've got some fake hinges sitting right over there so another very sturdy plastic rear bumper and you can add a toe hinge if you would like to do so so overall this car really looks amazing oh and it's got a clipless body system and I really like that. To remove the body there's a small knob sitting right over there. Just turn it a tiny bit and then you can lift the rear section upwards and then slide the body forward and then it should come off. And now you can see the magic thing and that's this little thing. So this is a magnetic connector for the light system inside the body and this is just awesome. I really would like to have seen that all of the other RC brands would integrate this one into the RC cars but unfortunately this is the first one Antonel. So I made a do-it-yourself video for this type of connector so I'll put the link down below so you you can add this one to all of your other RC cars. So just look at the body, we've got a detailed interior with also a Lexan insert and I don't know if you can see it through the windows but there's an interior inside there. And just look at all the wiring and all the light buckets and everything you know, this thing really looks amazing. 
Underneath the body you will find a very clean setup. Just look how everything is organized guys. I really like the appearance of that. So all around the car we've got some indefenders and I really like that. And the plastic that they have used feels very sturdy and very high quality. So we've got some rock sliders sitting right over there. And actually the body will fit inside the rock sliders to give it some more stability. So over here we've got two tiny servos. So one is for the two wheel drive, four wheel drive and the dig function. And the other one is for the two speed gearbox. So over here we've got a 1060 hobby wing. Uh, uh, ESC and right inside there we will find the receiver so this is your 35 uh, turns three slots 550 motor this is a 25 kilogram servo for the winds and here over here you can see the blue one that's a 25 kilogram steering servo with some metal servo horns and I really like that Underneath the car we've got a four link setup in the front and in the rear. So we've got metal linkages, we've got metal drive shaft, this car has got metal gears inside there, fully ball bearings and overall the package you know this is very very complete. So here in the front you can see the straight axle with the lock diffs and that's all fine and it's the same story in the rear. So straight axle with lock diffs you know and this is a rock crawler so the lock diffs is just fine in my opinion. So the hex hardware, yeah it's got hex hardware throughout as far as I can see. And the tires they feel very sticky but the yeah the foam inside there is a bit too stiff in my opinion. So the tires they are glued as far as I can see so you cannot change that so that's a bit of a downside but it is what it is. So let me throw some batteries and show you when it's on. The car is powered on and this is the steering servo. So the steering servo is pretty slow in my opinion but it's got plenty of power so that's all fine. So the slow modulation on a 3S battery is like this. And that's okay, you know. It's not the slowest, but you can do some upgrades if you would like to do so. But for this package, you know, that's all fine. So we've got two buttons sitting right over there. And this is for controlling the winch. So now the winch is going outwards. And press the uh, channel number three. It's going inwards again. So I really like that. So channel number eight it is, uh, is for the two-speed gearbox. So now it's in the low speed. And now it's in the high speed. And it's got a pretty decent wheel speed uh, in my opinion. So channel number 7 is for the 2 wheel drive, 4 wheel drive and the dig function. And you should use this selector and it's not responding. So let me check on that. So guys, after checking, I found out that this servo died on me. And that's a big downside, you know. This is not the first RGD car which has a faulty servo. And that's a big downside in my opinion. So the first RGD car that I reviewed had exactly the same problem. So RGD, please learn from this guy. So I have got a faulty car right now. So that's a bit of a downside. So here is just a simple replacement servo. And as you can see, the transmitter and the receiver is just working fine. So it's just all got to do with this servo. So I'm going to replace this one and then we're going to take it outside for a spin stay tuned so guys we're at the 110 scale crawler track and this is the first test that we're going to do so this is pretty steep incline so let's see if the new rgt car can do this so i've got high hopes for this one because everything underneath the bummet or hood looks pretty promising but yeah already it's up there so let's find a more difficult one here we have a more difficult obstacle, so the first thing that we need to do is clear those rocks and that can be a bit tricky if the axles are a bit low to the ground. So another thing is then they're going over the bridge and the stairs can be a bit tricky to overcome. So let's see if this new RGD can do this. So here's the first part. So the steering angle on this car is just amazing, I really like that so far. It is truly 45 degrees and maybe a bit more. But do you, yeah, do you see this guys? It just overcome this obstacle with ease. Yeah, let's go do a more difficult one. This incline is even more difficult than the other two. So let's see if this one is able to go all the way up here. So this is like the most tricky part. So you've got some big gaps sitting right over there. Oh, do you see the articulation? It's fully articulated. Yeah, but look at it go. I am so surprised about this car. This thing is truly amazing already. Yeah, let's go to the next one. Here we have a big pile of loose boulders. So let's see if this one can overcome the big boulder piles. Because yeah, the loose boulders are always moving. So it's a bit difficult to get some traction. And yeah, this car doesn't have portal axles. So yeah, the, the chances that your axle will be hang up onto the boulders is a big risk. But do you see that? It's Yeah, it's not going because of the axles are just yeah hanging up to the boulders let's find a difficult a different line so here it goes do you see the steering angle that's just great man 
So the modulation is all fine with this car, you know, it's not the best electronics, but for like ready to run, it's not too bad. Ooh, the pumpkin at the rear is just scraping along the grog. Do you see that? So here we go. Oh, tumble. This obstacle over here is always difficult to film, but yeah, let me see if this one can get up here. Because this is like a very, very steep incline and I'm not sure about how steep it is, but almost none of the cars I have tested is able to get up here. So let's see if this one can do it here. It's almost tipping over already. Yeah, no, for sure this is not going to work, but let's give it another shot. Oh, it's on his rear bumper. So the front wheels are on, so this is that's like the first part. But, oh no, is he going to do it? No, no, ooh, almost tipped it over. <laughs> Let's try it again. No, ah, here it goes. Here is the next obstacle that we are going to do. So this is a very steep incline and the stairs on there are not even, so it can be a bit tricky. And then we are going to continue to the head. So this is the high altitude turn. And if your steering angle isn't great, then this should be a very difficult obstacle. So let's see how the RGT performs. So here it goes. So let's see if we can overcome this one. And until now, yeah, it doesn't struggle very much. So let's go to the head. And I'm doing this one-handedly and if I make a mistake it will drop for at least a meter as you can see right over there so I have to be very careful. So let's see if we can make this turn and as mentioned you have to have a very good yeah, steering angle otherwise this is a very very difficult obstacle. So let's go to the outlines and then all the way in but not too far otherwise your back wheels will yeah, go over the edge. Yeah, I am so surprised about this car. This is just a very, very capable car. Do you see that, guys? So without backing up once... Maybe I have to back up now for once, but... Yeah, definitely. Oh, hop. Saved it. And here we go. So, guys, let's uh, give you some driving footage and then I will come back to you with my final result. So guys, that was the driving with the all new RGT Pro Runner. And what do I think of this car? Well, for the money, this is an awesome car. You will get a lot of technology inside there and a lot of very nice things. So yeah, let's name a couple. So I really do like the clipless body system, you know, that's just amazing. And especially the magnetic connector for the light. This is just amazing. And all other brands should make something like this in their cars because that's just heaven in my opinion. I really do like the two-speed gearbox inside there. You've got the two-wheel drive for drive and the dig function we've got a winch pre-installed there we've got a very nice skid plate the transmitter is awesome you know this car for the money is almost unbeatable so you will pay around 350 bucks i think it was i will put the link down below so you can check it out for yourself but is this car perfect no it's not perfect there are two downsides in my opinion for this car the first one is a very very big problem and that's this servo well the servo is not a problem but the endpoints aren't set correctly and therefore it burned on me and this is the second RGT car that I reviewed with the same problem. So RGT guys, please change this, you know, set the endpoints correctly so you will not burn this server anymore. So I will make a separate video about how to solve this, you know, so you can solve that in advance before you're going to take it outside to spin, you know, for a drive. So yeah, keep stay tuned for that video. Another thing what I really don't like about this car are the foams inside the tires. So the foams inside there are just too stiff. The tires are fine, you know, the rubber compound is okay, but the foam you know these are almost rock solid and I really don't like that but overall this package you know for 350 bucks is just amazing all right guys that was it for today thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel if you got any questions or suggestions leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video bye bye